Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going over a bunch of information for you guys, which is really, really important because this is actually a future of Fortnite regarding comic books and so much more. Now you're probably thinking, Pat, what are you meaning? Comic books? Well, if we actually take a little bit deeper into the files and have a look what people have actually been discovering all over the map, you can see this here. So this is a little preview of what people have been seeing in their in-game point of view. And I'm kind of liking it. They're kind of seeing this on the right hand side. You can see it on the right hand side in this little clip here coming from Hype. And obviously, it's kind of interesting to see that we possibly could be getting these comic books coming into the game. Now, we're going to break this down in a little bit more details, giving you guys some more details on it. And there's a lot of other news in today's video. So, if you're not already subscribed, do consider smashing that subscribe on today's video. Thank you, everybody, doing that. Roughly 80% of you guys that watch the content aren't subscribed. And it's a great source here. So, do consider smashing that subscribe. Also, guys, if you aren't already supporting me in the item shop, make sure you go and enter in code postboxpat to support me further. Here are a bunch of shout outs to you guys doing that. Thank you, everybody, doing that. And smash a like on the video. Let's try and aim for 7,000 likes on today's video. Can we do it? I don't know. It takes half a second to smash it. So quickly, just tap it, smash it. But as I was editing this video, the item shop did go live and I could not not put it in the video because of how cool the item shop is. So you can see it here. Obviously, we've got the relaxed fit Jonesy. What a cool skin. This does remind me of Thor from the Avengers movie, but I'm loving it. So if you're going to cop it, don't forget to support me with code postboxpat. But we've also got the female Durburger skin and the female tomato skin, which is crazy. So if you're going to get Christina or Sizzle, cop these as well with my code. Thank you, anyone doing that. And then come over to my Discord or Twitter and let me know if you're supporting me. I'll put you in another video to shout you guys out. So thank you, everybody doing that. Before we jump into some more information on the comic book, which is relates to Marvel and the Fortnite storyline and so much more, I just wanted to go over party mode real quick, because this is something which has been on my mind. Do you guys think that party mode is kind of being overdone at the minute, that like there's just too much in it to kind of like focus what's going on? I feel like that's the case in me. It's getting a little bit commercial, but I don't know. Do people like going to the stuff on party mode? I actually do love the party royale sort of stuff that goes on with the live concerts and stuff, but I'm not... A huge fan of going to like little like trailers and stuff like that but on the topic of that tomorrow the hatchy one oh wait uh, is actually coming in party royale and you're going to be able to grab this free banner and you're only going to be able to attend it at one time by the looks of it and it starts at 8 p.m et so you're going to need to attend it to grab the banner make sure you do and obviously you get the banner sometimes these things work without even attending the events but i'm assuming this one will probably require you to attend it to grab it so it's a free banner which you guys can grab tomorrow make sure you are doing that also for those wondering wondering a little bit more as well in the next two Days, you're also going to be able to attend a event which is regarding ESPN and obviously this is on a competition so I'm liking it you know just uh, kind of skydiving type things and stuff so I don't even know why this sort of stuff is going on but you know it's crazy stuff to experience all these things going in front of the next one I've got for you guys as well is the shark wheat style stuff as well which is on August the 10th so that's three things going on in the party mode in the space of this short period time so I don't know what's going on with it. Like, is it kind of commercial? Are people paying for this to be in the game? Is Fortnite just generally going out their way to source stuff for the party modes, make it hyped? It's kind of like a TV channel a little bit, isn't it? I personally feel like Fortnite needs to give us a little bit more time and space these events out and place things in game so we can kind of get our hype up for this. Maybe like what we're going to see with this comic book. And obviously this could actually develop to other comic books regarding the storyline. So we'll come into some more information about that right now. So this is real interesting, like this sort of stuff is the sort of stuff which you're probably going to want to keep an eye out for. So this one is coming in from Hypex. So as I showed before, we saw the comic book in the ground on the little right hand side podium thing, but this is it zoomed in. So it looks like Hypex has broken this down a little bit more detail. So from Hype, we've got here on the top left, the rainbow bridge. We've also got the uh, Galactus. Galactus is actually uh, one of the villains from the Marvel comic book series, one of the big bosses, almost similar to like Thanos, that sort of kind of like role. He's kind of not similar to Thanos as in a sense, that's what his plan is, but his kind of like abilities and his power is almost as high as Thanos. So he's like basically like the sort of strength of Thanos that like you could see him having a long like series with it. And then obviously on the right hand side, we see that Thor as well is in the comic book theme. So could this mean that Thor is coming to Fortnite? And I have a little feeling that possibly this could all link in. And the reason for that is, for those that saw yesterday's storyline video if you didn't go and check it out after this video i'll remind you guys at the end but this actually came from the spectrogram and to me yesterday i thought this kind of looked like a little bit like aquaman holding like a pickaxe or something but when i think about this a little bit further i start to think possibly this could actually link to the comic book because it looks very similar to galactus the actual villain so i'm kind of interested about this because this obviously relates to the audio files which have been found in the actual files and could this actually relate to that comic book now one thing that worries me 
is that the storyline that's going on right now might not be to do with the Fortnite storyline and might be to do with a Marvel storyline, which is okay if they integrate it with the Fortnite storyline. Uh, yes, fair enough, having Galactus and Thor in the storyline, if it takes place part and does stuff to the Fortnite storyline, in my opinion, is fine. But if this is going to be the only storyline we get this season, this isn't something I want at all. So, I don't know. I'm excited for it, but it might be like a mini quest type thing to unlock the comic book, which is perfectly fine. You know what I mean? We might get like a mini quest and then we get the event later on this season, which is fine by me. But obviously, I don't want it to be like the main storyline this season. With that being said, though, we also saw some information about obviously the actual kind of symbols on the ground. And yesterday, I said possibly these could be Thor related. But actually, looking into this a little bit deeper, I found out this was actually Battle Hounds battling type thing. So... Hmm, I don't know what this has to do with the storyline, but if we look a little bit further into it, we can see we have this picture here, which shows us that we're going to be getting a few different things around the map. It shows us that these Battlehound symbols are going to be around, obviously, the Authority. We're obviously going to be getting a crack in the sky very, very soon. Here's a little preview of that. And this is said to actually be above Risky, which is kind of interesting. We're obviously going to be getting a crater as well, hitting the ground somewhere outside of the Authority, and even something over at the High Tower as well. Not too sure exactly what will happen at the high tower but we do have files relating to this i know this is similar to obviously what we've seen on the ground here but obviously this is all going to lead up to something okay as i was editing this video hyper actually tweeted out something which was a little bit different regarding where the rift is going to appear on the map so you can see here it's actually going to appear above the redacted bunker over at catty corner maybe this could be something pretty big for that area maybe the redacted bunker is actually going to see its use again it's not been used ever has it so hopefully fortnite Let's get some use out of that. I really want to see something happen over at the Redacted Bunker area. But this definitely looks more like a Fortnite storyline style thing. Definitely doesn't look too much Marvel related. But you just don't know. Like With this sort of stuff, you do not know what is going to happen. This could be one huge, huge collaboration for obviously the Marvel stuff upcoming, which we've seen with Iron Man's uh, obviously Hulkbuster pickaxes and or, or Hulk's pickaxes as well. So, you know, that's pretty cool. But, you know, one other thing I found in the files for you guys as well is this cube stuff. This is coming from Mango. You can see the cube elements have actually been slightly upgraded here. So these are part of the cubes and these are like the shattered pieces and stuff. So this is really interesting to see that this is actually uh, becoming to this stage you know I did not expect this sort of a uh, cube type material or the fragment of the cube to actually gain this development in the files so what does this mean does this mean that we're going to see Kevin's element return I generally do think that Kevin's element will return I've been talking about this for like the last week or so on how I think that element is going to make an appearance that dark matter substance isn't just Kevin it's a substance itself which has its own plans and its own abilities that aren't just Kevin rolling around you know they formed a cube for a reason but they could form anything it doesn't have to be a cube it could be a star it could be a person it could be a skin it could be we've seen it in a few skins but we could make a house or a building or a hole who knows what it could be or a cave so this sort of stuff is definitely a uh, something we should all keep our eyes and be aware of the dark matter is definitely going to reappear same as the seven at some point in the storyline so some really really exciting stuff there for everybody right there then i also have some more information jumping back over to the party royale side of stuff we actually have this file here as well which looks like some party royale files i'll pop a few different party royale files on because apparently the uh, party royale mode should be getting some changes tomorrow i'm not too sure what's going to change in there i'll definitely make a map change video if a lot does develop or even just a few things develop i'll keep you guys updated on it because i know a lot of people do like the party mode i love it it's a, it's a great mode to play with your friends have a few races on it'd be cool if they introduced like sharks and stuff like that to party royale but right now uh, i'm not too sure what's going on with all kind of like the promotional stuff but you know you don't always have to attend it i'm only saying you know this is there if you want to attend it you can if you don't you know it's simple really isn't it you know these things are optional so it's kind of exciting to think that that is all happening in the world of Fortnite. And obviously, we have all that party stuff which is going on. And obviously, a future map changes there possibly could actually happen. We saw that announced in the email they sent us a while back when we were doing our live stream. So, what else do we have for you guys? Well, I've also got this little screenshot here with uh, coming in from Hypex as well, which actually shows off all of the different floppers. So, we're going to be getting a variety of different floppers, and they all have different sound effects as well. I'll play some sound effects while I'm talking right now. But these are all going to do different abilities and stuff. Obviously, it's hard to break down exactly how these are going to work and what's what they're available what the rarities are and stuff like that until they're actually in the game and obviously i'll do that when they do get added in which will probably be next week now i'm i was almost certain on the live stream that we wouldn't add these in with the cars and 
it looks like I was correct, you know what I mean? This sort of stuff, I did not expect it to come in with the cars. It would have been way overload for content. So they've done it really nicely and spaced it out. It's either going to be this week or next week. But I'll keep you guys updated on when these floppers do get added in. Obviously, I'll stream it as well and get you guys updated with all the flopper news and stuff like that and get some kind of videos going on. I don't always stream this sort of stuff, but possibly I might stream it a little bit if it is kind of interesting. And a lot of people do want to obviously keep updated with uh, that sort of stuff with the floppers. I think it's going to be game changing for the mechanics because obviously having in like a night vision goggles and all this sort of stuff with a flopper it's going to give you access to different sites and different views you may even be able to see people through like bushes and trees and stuff like that so or thin walls so definitely something we should also uh also keep our eyes peeled for them floppers being changed and the last little one again i just want to jump back over to uh, the party ray outside of stuff you can see here we do obviously have the fauna added a bunch of materials in 13.40 for a global uh this is obviously i'm guessing holographic stuff in the party mode so it definitely does look like we're getting some sort of kind of globe type thing coming into the party mode so i'll definitely cover that for you guys when map changes do need covering for the party royale mode it's going to be absolutely awesome to cover all that sort of stuff i do love it it's a great mode and also so regarding Thor as well and that side and the theory and all that sort of stuff, if Thor does come into Fortnite, he'll be there as maybe a either a playable character, a skin, or a promotional type thing. It is rumored that the Avengers LTM is also going to return as well when the collaboration for the Avengers Assemble game does come out. I think that's what it's called. But obviously that's coming out very, very soon. The beta will be out for that and obviously everyone can run that. So that beta is running and obviously you can do that. It's a free beta if you obviously own the, uh, well, if you don't own it, it's free anyway because it's an open beta. But if you own it, you get early access to it. So that's really awesome. So if you do own the bet the game already so you pre-ordered the avengers game you will gain access to the beta tomorrow which is going to be happening obviously from the 7th to the 9th if you're on playstation and obviously from there on the dates are all on here on screen here you can see them but yeah that's really awesome if you're interested in that you can so yeah that's starting very very soon other than that that's going to be everything for today's video smash like if you haven't already smash the subscribe and stay tuned to everything on the fortnite battery universe i really do hope you guys have enjoyed and once again this is postbox pat signing out